In this video, I'm going to go over how to rotate an array in C to the right. So if you have an array that looks like this with 398176, and we want to rotate that to the right, let's say by one index, it's going to look like this with 39817 shifted over one position to the right. And then the six on the end here that kind of has nowhere to go, it actually wraps around and it actually becomes the first element of the rotated array. So let's actually implement this in C now. First, we'll make the example array. We'll say here int a1 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, let's say. And then we'll make a function that's first going to rotate the array one index to the right. So we'll say void rotate once right. It'll accept the array as an argument and the length of the array as an argument. And then we'll provide a definition for the function down here. And the way that I'm going to solve this problem is I'm actually going to store this sort of special case here of the last element in a temporary variable. And then I can actually append it to the, the first element of the array here when we're done the rotation of all the other elements. So I'm going to say here int temp is equal to array length minus one. So let's actually store that, that last element of the array here into a temporary variable. And then let's do the rotation of the remaining elements. So I'm going to say here for int i is equal to length minus two. And then I'm going to say i is greater than or equal to zero i minus minus. So I'm kind of looping through the array backwards here, starting off with this element here in terms of the index that i is set to. And then to actually rotate it over to the right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this element here to this element here using this counter variable. So we'll say here array at i plus one is equal to array at i. This is going to have the effect of setting this element here to the value of this element here. And then the next time through the loop, the next iteration of the loop, we're going to be shifting over our, our counter variable here, i, by 1. It's going to be shifting over to the, it's going to be, you know, subtracting 1 from i. So it's going to be shifting over in terms of the elements we're looking at with these indexes here. And so we're going to set then, you know, 5 to, to 4 and so on up until we get to, to 0 here. And then to actually set that first element of the array, we're going to say array at zero is equal to temp. So we set that first element of the array that's not going to be set by this loop here to that last element of the array that we stored in the temporary variable. So to test this out, let's actually print out the array before and after we call the function. So I'll say here for int i is equal to zero, i is less than six, i plus plus. We'll print out the array elements. We'll say printf percent d a1 at i. We'll print out all the array elements and put in a new line then. And then we'll call the function to rotate once right. We'll pass it the array and the length of the array. And then we'll print out the array again to get the after view of the array. So we save that and let's do a compilation now and test it out. So we run it and we get one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we get six, one, two, three, four, five with the array rotated once to the right. So we could also make a function to rotate the array some arbitrary number of indexes to the right. So we could say void rotate right, and this will accept an array, a length, and some number of times here. So some number of indexes to rotate the array to the right. And the way we're gonna do this is we're actually just gonna call the rotate once right function repeatedly. We're just gonna call it n times to rotate it you know, n indexes to the right. So we'll say here four int i is equal to zero, i is less than n, i plus plus. And then we call rotate once right with our array and the length to rotate it n times to the right. So we could give this function a test here. We'll say rotate right here. And now what we'll do is we'll call it with a1, the length of the array is six, and we'll call it with two to rotate it two positions to the right. So do recompilation, run it, and we get, you know, five, six, one, two, three, four, because it's been rotated two indexes to the right now. We could do this too. If I said here, rotate right, A166, if I do a recompilation now and run it, I actually get back the original array because there's only six elements in the array. And if we rotate it six indexes to the right, then we're just going to end up with our original array back. So that's rotating an array to the right in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.